Hey there everyone. Um, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a garden expert with me. So I'm excited to share with you uh, a method, a tomato method that we are trying out this year that we are super excited about, right? Mm -hmm. So we here in Texas, um, it is November and we are having 70 degree weather, but eventually it will turn cold and our tomatoes don't like the cold. So we have found um, growing them from seed is always an option when it comes to tomatoes, but we wanted to try out something else. So I brought my tomato expert to share with you how we're doing this and how, how it's going to be just so much easier in the spring when we're starting out with um, bigger plants so that we get a longer growing season because believe it or not tomatoes don't really like the hot either so here in texas we have to make sure we get lots of growing time before it gets hot um, as well so what are the steps that you, you need to be able to understand to make the most of this method what's the first step the first step is to find a sucker on your tomato plant okay so what is a sucker well a sucker is a branch of the tomato that grows right in between two branches going out. So it kind of goes right in the middle. So typically when you have tomatoes, you want to do what with the sucker? You want to take it off because it takes away energy from the fruit and growing. Right. So towards the end of the season, if you let those suckers grow, then you can use them later for this method. Yes. So you, you want them to be big. You don't want them to have fruit or flowers. Okay. Because so, then it's too late. Awesome. So once you find the sucker that has all meets all those criteria, then what do you do? Then you take off the lower branches until you only have the top. Okay. Just like this, where you only uh, have the top. Okay. So once you do that, then what are you going to do? Then you're going to go into a glass container, put it in water, Yep. and then give it lots of sunlight. And, and then it will get roots, like yeah. this one has here. It's got nice roots. So you are basically getting a tomato plant from your existing tomato plants. Yeah. Yeah. So you are straight taking your sucker, getting it some roots, and then what do you do after it gets its roots? Then you can put it in a little pot, some indoor potting soil, mm -hmm. put it in a pot and give it some sunlight but you don't want the pot to be too big because right. you don't want it to get too big indoors right so then you put it in the pot and then it will grow and then you can put it in the garden after the cold is there that is awesome so then here in texas we can we typically start planting tomatoes in february mid-february so we will be having some big tomato plants to be able to put in the garden instead of starting with those small tomato plants or having to start from seed and then you know grow those all year long so this is something you could probably put in your greenhouse as well if you wanted to use a greenhouse um, or like like elijah was saying you could put it in your house and do indoor potting mix and be able to grow um, your seedlings in your house so that's pretty awesome to be able to do so what varieties do you think work best with this method? Um, well, what, well, what varieties are we using? We're using heirlooms, romas, orange tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. Yeah, so we're trying out all of the, all the varieties that we have, and we will definitely report back and let you know which varieties do best with this method um, or not. Because tomatoes technically could be a perennial. They could last and just keep on growing. But what happens is they just kind of get tired at the end of the season. And here in Texas, because they go from the extreme heat to then all of a sudden the cold, uh, it's just easier to just start fresh. Um, and this is such a fantastic and very economical way um, to be able to do just that. So, any last things that you wanted to make sure to tell them? Oh, not really. Not really. Well, thank you so much for sharing your tomato expert, and we look forward to trying this out and letting you guys know how it goes. We hope that you have a great rest of your day, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.